Sony's PlayStation 3 joined the next-gen gaming wars last, but came with the most powerful and multimedia-rich console to date. So how's it doing now? I'm Brian Tong for CNET.com, and the product spotlight turns the heat up on the PS3 to see if all those features have made it the current king of consoles. There is no doubt that the PS3 is the powerhouse of consoles. So let's take a look at some of the killer features this beast brings to the table. Now from looks alone, the PS3 is about the same size as the Xbox 360 and has some real nice curves to it. The glossy black finish is classy, but the best thing of all, the power supply is part of the machine, unlike that monster of a brick for the 360, and it's real quiet too. The PS3 uses a 3.2 gigahertz cell processor built specifically for the console. Now this is supposed to create off the chart effects that you just can't see anywhere else, but it takes developers time to tap into all that power, and we really haven't seen any games showcasing that power yet. Another killer feature, a built-in Blu-ray player for high-def movies and HDMI output with 1080p support. No other console can say that. The PS3 is also a multimedia monster. The highest end model features an 80 gigabyte hard drive and behind the door here, dun dun dun, memory card reader slots for Sony's memory stick, compact flash, and SD cards as well. Good call on that one, Sony. Now, what about wireless? Well, built-in Wi-Fi on the higher-end model is a big deal. Less cables makes me happy. And you guys want more wireless? Well, the controllers are two, and they're also motion sensitive. So you can use your controller like a steering wheel or fling it forward to shoot a free throw. But it's not as dynamic as the Wii controller. OK, so the PS3 has almost every feature imaginable in a console. But does that mean it's the best console out there? Really, the biggest thing holding it back is the lack of killer apps that everyone talks about as must-haves. Right now, they're all in the 360 camp with games like Gears of War, Bioshock, and Halo 3. And most of the games on the PS3 are also available on the 360, but we're still waiting and pining away for exclusives like Metal Gear Solid and Gran Turismo 5. Now, online play is free for the PS3, which is stupendous. You can also download demos and old-school titles on the PlayStation Network but the interface and abundance of content just isn't on par with the Xbox Live service that has had years to mature. Multimedia freaks will find plenty to love with the PS3, and it's also the most affordable way to get a Blu-ray player. But if I'm buying this as a gaming machine, come on guys, I need it to have great games. I'm Brian Tong for CNET.com, and there's no contesting that the raw power and features of the PS3 packs are unmatchable, but the lack of killer apps is still holding it back from reaching its full potential and possibly becoming the top console in the market.